the corner of Dave Niehaus Way and Edgar Martinez Drive. Welcome to T-Mobile Park. We've got open air baseball for you on the show. It's the Boston Red Sox taking on the Seattle Mariners. First pitch coming your way next. So almost ready to get underway and towing the slab, Luis Castillo. Great sinker. Although it's not his primary pitch, it's really a pitch that he can go to, misses the barrel of the bat, gets ground balls, and lets the defense work behind him. And stepping in for Boston, Jaron Duran. The wind of the pitch. Fastball ball for a strike. And this one is off and running. And the right hander deals. Blows the high knee past them. That's a strikeout. Oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. One down, base is empty. That one hammered, but pulled foul. Yeah, foul ball. Not even close there. Two and two. One out, base is empty. Just off the inside edge. Really good take, especially with two strikes. The kick, the 3 2. And that one off the inside edge. You walked him. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there, anyhow. Now batting Tristan Casas. Just missed. Devers over at first with one away. And that one fouled off. At the belt and fires. No, and another the ball. ball. Really close pitch down around the knees there. And you could see him asking where it missed. Probably doesn't agree, but it appears he's ready to move on to the next pitch. There's a strike of the knees. Man at first, one away. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. And a pinch. And there's a ball. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Outside, and that is ball four. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. 
Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. So one out with two aboard. Now here's the Red Sox DH, Masataka Yoshida. First no. pitch, and he just misses. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Left-hand batter waits. Next pitch in for a strike. And the count even at one. Good eye in that spot. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Double steal. Swing and a miss. Throw the third, and he's out. Runner at second, two down. And we're just getting started here in the top of the first. Two outs. In there, sets him down on strikes. Throws him with a backdoor slider. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. Back at T-Mobile Park. And today's starting pitcher, Lucas Giolito. What do you look for here? Well, a pretty standard four-pitch mix. He's got the fastball, change speeds, two breaking balls. You know, all can be really effective if they're coming out of the same arm slot and really staying in that tunnel for a good bit. Bottom of the first. J.P. Crawford gets a chance to hit. But why to kick the pitch? That one a little bit high. Ball one. And he deals. A bit behind with that swing. It's strike one. One more. Upstairs. Two one. On the ground to third. Whips it to Casas. One gone bottom half of the first. And now we check out the Mariners lineup. And the key to victory for them here, get their starters some run support early. Boog, if they can get him that run support early, it's likely the other team folds because they know how dominant he can be once he gets settled in. So put pressure on that other team right away. Jump out to a lead early, and a few runs is going to feel like 30. Ball. Julio Rodriguez in the box with one away as he takes ball one. pitch swinging a foul straight back kicks and deals and a foul ball guides and he can't hang on still able to get it there in time and even with his speed they get the out this is what it's all about on that right side of the diamond when you've got the first baseman involved in the pitcher as well first baseman does a great job knocks the ball down gets away from a little bit doesn't panic the pitcher's exactly where he's supposed to be nice feed and a nice play for the out the batter now jorge polanco and the first pitch misses for ball one Two outs, space is empty. Liner, base hit. Got 
batter. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Mitch Garver up to hit here. On the ground to Devers. On to second, and he throws it away. And that keeps the inning alive. You know, two out errors are kind of like two out walks and sometimes even worse. You know, you think you're out of the inning, but all of a sudden you get another out to get and the offense has a great opportunity. They're looking to take advantage of and make you pay for it. Cal Raleigh up next for the Mariners. Fall off foul. Two on, two outs. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. And that's the inning. Mariners leave a couple scoreless after one. And welcome back to the ballpark. All set for the start of the inning. Trevor Story comes up to the plate. Yeah, the right hander back to work. There's a strike. The shortstop takes a ball. One ball, two strikes. Ball. And that's down and away. The wind of the pitch. Swing and miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Man, it's so tough to adjust and catch up to a good fastball inside when all you're getting throughout an entire at batter pitches away. You're telling yourself, just let the ball travel so you can protect that outside corner of the plate. Then you get completely tied up. That right there was a great pitch for the punch out. And next for the Red Sox, Willier Abreu. Dead immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. One down, base is empty. Comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. No score here in the second. Fights it off, you'll see another. Here comes a pitch. Hard on the ground to first. Takes it himself. Out. And that quickly, two away. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Here's Tyler O'Neill. O'Neal tries to hold up, appeal to first, no swing. The pitch. There's a strike. Looks like a really good fastball today. You can hear that catcher's mitt popping. Looking forward to hearing a lot of that one in this one. Swing and a miss. That's strike two. One, this guy's two. got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, oh, and down one yeah. strikes he goes. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Down in order, go the Red Sox. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Back in Seattle, we head to the bottom of the second. And stepping in for the Mariners, Ty France. The right-hander back to work. That one catches the zone. Going one. That 
it's inside. Time to look at our umpiring crew in this one. Kenny Jansen behind the plate. Yeah, and expect a little inconsistency on the corners. He doesn't make any wild calls, but he does give and take there a little bit, so he doesn't have the easiest strike zone to figure out, especially as the game goes on when you're expecting it to become more consistent. And there's a foul ball. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. And it's caught for the out. That is the left Here's the left fielder, Luke Rayleigh. First pitch misses. And that's in the dirt. 2-0. And that one sliced foul. Left hand hitter waits. Ball. And now it's filled up. Okay. All tied up, bottom half of inning number two. Battling here as he fouls it away. 3 2 on the way. Got him swinging. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. Hedegar. Now batting Mitch Hanniger. There's a strike. No ball. One strike. That one way inside. Next offering is downstairs. And yeah, there's a strike on the outside corner. And they'll do it again. Righty to the plate. Still two and two after the foul ball. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. That's back. And Blasted to the moon. The Mariners strike first. It's 1-0. He kept swinging, and it paid off. Well, that was a battle, Boog, and he just kept taking his cuts. Finally squared one up. <laughs> Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spent on some other pitches in this. At bad was very patient, and it paid off. Here's Josh Rojas. That catches the corner. Ball. Next offering misses down and away. That's a strike across the top of the zone. 
two down, nobody on. That okay. one missed. It's a good take. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Makes the play, and it's out number three. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's now 1-0. Back here with my pal Singy, the top half of the third inning, still stepping in for Boston. Vaughn Grissom. Castillo back to work. Turned on, but foul wide of third. Looking to get the tying run on base. Out to center. Rodriguez settles under it. Pulls it down, and he makes the catch. What a way. Here's the catcher, Connor Wong. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. There's the strike. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, it makes the whole team that much better. Next offering is in for a strike. What about him playing another position on defense, one that would require a little more range? Absolutely, and I think if push came to shove where they had to make a, a move during a game, it surprised a lot of people. You might even get to put him in center field. Hacks and misses, it's a strikeout. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. So the lineup flips over. Now batting Jaron Duran. Foul ball there. Ball and ball. now the count is even. One ball, one strike. Trying to hold a one-run lead. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Right. And now one and two. <laughs> Stays alive. Right-hander kicks deals. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Red Sox go down one, two, three. Still behind by a count of one to nothing. Set for the bottom of the third. Here's the Mariners leadoff man, J.P. Crawford. J.P. Crawford. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Ugly swing right there. Swings through that. And a pitch. The shortstop takes the ball. Well, he missed badly with that 0-2 fastball. Hitter has to understand. Probably wants to try to put him away with that pitch. So got to stay ready for it. In the dirt, two and two. Good eye right there. 
Well, he's not afraid to fall into a two strike count. Knows the strike zone very well, so much so that I think umpires will look at him and determine whether it's a ball or strike, if he swings or not. Thought it was a pretty good pitch, top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. And now it's Julio Rodriguez. That one not close. Ball one. In there for a strike at the top of the zone. Good pitch to hit on a tee up in the zone. I think he was looking for something else right there. In the air out to center. Durant settles under it. He makes the grab. Two away. Now back. Second baseman. Jorge. Jorge Polanco up next for the Mariners. One for one with a single so far. Not a surprise he's off to a good start in this one, given he enjoys playing so much at home. Let's see if he can make it two for two. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Not what he's looking for there in the 0-0 count. Looks like he wants the ball down in the zone. That's now a one and one. Two outs. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And a pitch. That no, one just misses. Two down, nobody on. Here in the last half of the third. In the dirt, and it's a full count. Wow, this guy's really battling up there as if his run is the game-winning run. I love his tenacity. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Two down, nobody on. Rip to short. Zips it to first, and Polanco is out. And that is the inning. And one, two, three, go to Mariners. They lead it one nothing. And we're back. Rafael Devers up to hit. A lot of times you're looking for a guy to get that tie and run on base, but because of the power, you want him to tie up the game with one swing here. And fouled off. Is your one right field down the line, and that one slices down. Pitch in the dirt, and that's ball one. Just misses the mark outside the zone. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. And the right hater deals. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. Quite the matchup we're seeing here. Six foul balls in this at bat alone. Really no. making them work out there. And that misses off the outside edge. Expect for that guy to come right at you with a fastball, something in the zone, because he does not want to allow the leadoff ball. Driven deep, way back there, and it's gone. We are tied. He powers that one out of here, and they tie it up. It's 1-1. One, one.
Wow, what a clutch swing right there. And now anything can happen in this game. In a 3-2 count, you've got to be ready to hit at the plate, even if it's a borderline pitch. You don't want to leave it in the umpire's hands. Got to be ready to pull the trigger. Hit a great swing on that, and he got rewarded for it. So it's all tied up thanks to the home run. And now the first baseman, Tristan Casas. No. Oh, he doesn't get the call. And that's ball one. Well, he's just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run, go back to work, focus on this next batter. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. That one misses. And now 3 0. Castillo, maybe a little less aggressive on the mound right now after that home run, Chris. Yeah, it seems that way. You know, guys, they can come out, feel good, but then all of a sudden get touched up a little bit and they start trying to throw instead of pitch. They're not trusting their stuff. And that one fouled off. Well, he's been good for the most part. Is it going to take someone going out to the mound to maybe refocus him a bit? No, partner. Every pitcher's a little different. I, I liken it to you. And a swing and a miss. And that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the homer. Masataka Yoshida will hit next. Caught looking his first time up. Not sure if he was expecting for the pitcher to come right at him, but he got a nice cookie there and just watched it the entire way. One out, base is empty, and a run in. Top half of inning number four. Two. And the pitch is in for a strike, and it's nothing in two. two in the air, left field, down the line, and that lands in no man's land, a foul ball. Righty delivers. Hard liner. Two down. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it, but sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those loop hits to get a knock sometimes. Here's Trevor's story. His first at bat was a strikeout. There's a strike. Well, we call that keyholing. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. Next offering is in for a strike. He doesn't seem to like to pitch up. Hasn't offered on either one of those pitches. 0-2 count now. I think the guy's going to climb the ladder out there. Two outs. Fly ball, center field, Rodriguez sizing this one up, and he makes the catch. And that is that. The Red Sox pick up a run on the homer, all even at one apiece. Back at T-Mobile Park, bottom of the fourth, and now the DH, Mitch Garver. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. That's in there. That's strike one. He's been pitching well, but going through this middle of the order second time through, we'll see what kind of adjustments are being made. Late that time, and it's strike two. Not close with that one, and the count is one and two. Wouldn't chase that time. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. Lifted in the air, out to left. O'Neal drifts towards it, and there's one down. Good pitch. He just kind of had him out in front on that pitch away and wasn't able to stay okay. closed. 
And now the switch hitting catcher, Cal Raleigh. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. One down, base is empty. This one in the air, center field. Duran on the move, brings it in. Two away down. The first base is number 23. So digging in, Ty France. He's 0 for 1. Close one doesn't get the call. And it's 1-0. And, oh. Two down, nobody on. That one fouled off. And here it comes. In the air, out towards left center. O'Neill brings it in for the third out. Fifth inning coming up. Tied at one. And welcome back to the ballpark. Top five, John Shelby with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Willier Abreu. And a pitch. Ball, Just no. missed. One ball, no strike. This is the zone, and he gets him to chase. Man, that was pretty gross right there. And that's in the dirt. And it's two and two. The pitch. This to center field. Rodriguez settles under it. Squeezes it. One up, one down. Now the left fielder, Tyler O'Neill, struck out looking at his first at bat. That one at the knees for a strike. Close one doesn't get the call, and it's one and one. And another ball. And that's in for a strike. Getting a little frustrated with the strike zone. One down, base is empty. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Base is empty, one away. And we're at the top of the fifth. Ball. Next one misses, and it's three and two. Vaughn Grissom waiting to bat for the Red Sox. And that keeps things going. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. Well, he's starting to look a little gassed to me, and we'll see if they go to the bullpen in this spot or not. Here's the second baseman, Vaughn Grissom. Castillo will look to first, and he dives back in safely. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. Right through there for a strike. There was a high velocity fastball in the zone. I think a little frustration from walking the previous hitter. He's got good stuff. Pitch inside the zone and trust it. And the righty deals. Fought off foul. O'Neill at first, one gone. 
With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. And looking, that's a strikeout. Connor Wong up next for the Red Sox. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. The 95 missed up top, and that is ball one. And a pitch. On the call for a strike. Really going after him here. All fastballs to get ahead in the count. Two outs. Fouls it off. Still one and two. The pitch. Pops and misses. It's a strikeout. Sometimes he wears the emotion on the sleeve, but that's okay as long as he's getting results. And right there, thrilled with the punch out to get out of a jam. Back in Seattle, bottom of the inning. And now for Seattle, Luke Rayleigh. The line of the pitch. Ball, Just no. missed. Not giving him a pitch to hit there isn't a bad thing. He's dealing with a great first pitch hitter up there. Ball. And another ball. 2-0 to count. Here it comes. That's through there for a strike. Close, but call the ball. Three and one now. He hasn't fallen behind an account like this all day. He's in danger of walking his first batter right here. And that one fouled off. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Kicks and deals. And that one is lifted in the air. And it hops over the wall for an automatic double. The automatic double kind of feels like enjoying cruise control in your car, dude. You don't need to keep the pedal down as you cruise into second base. Just no worries in the world. You know what? He put a really good swing on that one. Runner in scoring position. No outs. And now, Mitch Hanniger. He's already homered here in this one. First pitch doesn't find the zone. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit's probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. The winning run on second base. No. And now two and nothing. A little bit low. Josh Rojas up next for the Mariners. He walked in, and that will keep things going. Well, this came apart right there. Four pitch walk, and the guy at the play was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. Josh Rojas up next for the Mariners. Fly to left his first time. Oh, how he'd love to walk it off right here. Popped up, foul territory behind the play. Wong drifts towards it. 
And out number one on the grab. Boy, that was a hanging breaking ball right there. I think he tried to do a little bit too much. Sometimes those eyes can get really big. I think his swing broke down as well, and that's what caused him to pop it up. J.P. Crawford up next for the Mariners. And there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah, I'd say the intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure. That's a strike. It's 0-1. Really good job in this spot to get ahead in the count. He's going to have to continue finish off this hitter. Next offering is in for a strike. With the winning run standing at second. Last half of inning number five. That's down and in. Way to lay off that pitch down. Good job to fight that one off. Two on, one out. Makes the catch for the second out. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting a line drive that finds a glove, but you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. So first and second with two outs. And up next for Seattle, Julio Rodriguez. And fouled off. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. One more. And that one goes straight to the backstop. And the runners will move up. Two on, two outs. Back-to-back -back breaking pitches away, you get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher's afraid of you, that he doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence level is raised right here. The pitch. That's a slider for a strike. to get the call. Full count down. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Second and third. Two down. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Makes the grab. And that is the inning. Two left on. We're through five. All tied 1-1. One, one. here with my pal Siggy and now the center fielder Jaron Duran the right hander back to work fouled off he was late Foul ball left side. Well, if he's going to do something special right here, it's going to have to happen with two strikes. At the belt and fires. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. And he'll two. Strike three and a fastball up in the zone. Well, he's going to have some thinking to do when he leaves the ballpark after this one. That was his third strikeout, and this one looking, obviously, so he's been a little overmatched. He's got to find a way just to be more competitive up there at the plate. Devers now. He's already homered in this game. And that one is inside.
The next offering misses. Two balls, no strikes. Tried to backdoor him with that slider right there, but just missed off the plate. Good pitch, though. That's just missed. Well, this is a little tough for the hitter in the back of the mind. You're wondering with first base open, am I going to get a pitch to hit? Got to stay back. Let your hands work. Stay in the middle of the field. And ball four to a board. Now he's been in a very giving mood today. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Luis Castillo won't go any further, and we'll be back with their first arm out of the pen after a quick break. Pitching change here, Jackson Kowal. They know that he can get a right-hander out, but he's in position to face a couple of lefties this inning. Substitution being made at first. Pinch running for Boston, Bobby Dahlbeck. Go ahead, run on base. And here's the first baseman, Tristan Casas. A strikeout and a walk. First offering, and it just misses. Right-handed reliever. That one off the mark, and now 2-0. Last two pitches have been down in the zone. Pitcher clearly trying to get that ground ball double play, but in this count, you're going to have to give in, elevate his pitches, and get back into this at bat. The pitch. Swings and he breaks his back. Masataka Yoshida getting ready to hit. And that one fouled off. The 0-1. On the ground right side. Tosses the first. That's the third out. That situation navigated to perfection by the Mariner bullpen. Heart of the order. 3-4-5 coming up. All tied 1-1. Now into the ball game on defense. Bobby Dahlbeck. He's the new third baseman. And now it's the switch inning second baseman, Jorge Polanco, one for two. Man at second, nobody out. Chris, certainly one of the things in his head is trying to get the runner over. Yeah, the way that we see the game played today, though, guys are not sacrificing as much just to get that runner across. They're really looking at doing damage. Slugging is the name of the game. Giolito throws over, and he's back in on a dive. Yeah, I think part of that goes into... It's just so hard to come up with hits. In today's game, starters don't go deep, and so hitters are seeing multiple pitchers every night, and that makes it more challenging just to come up with a single. And he deals. Liner snagged it first. To second with the throw and no chance to get back. It's a double play. So now the D.H. spot, Mitch Garver. He's a catcher by trade, but the D.H. here in this one. Not Whoa. even close there. Ball one. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. One ball, one strike. This guy's got good power with one swing. He can win it for him. Off the plate, and a count two and one. That one catches the corner for a strike. Got 
got him looking for the strikeout. That's the third out, and we're headed to extras. We go to the top of the seventh. Here's Trevor Story now. And a pitch. Fought off foul. Man at second. Laser could be extra bases. Coming home. He'll score, and the Red Sox have the lead. It's two to one. What a way to get it going. A double to not comb the runner from second. Yeah, just clearly trading places, and now that guy on second threatening to score more runs. Good clutch hitting to lead off the frame. Wilier Abreu up next for the Red Sox. Yeah, that's too high. You know, these Red Sox, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. They've hit seven line drives already, and even though some of them have been for outs, there's nothing wrong with delivering consistent hard contact. That's almost always going to lead to positive results. Here's the pitch. Runner breaks for third. That's in for a strike. For the third, he's safe. Wow, that's a pretty elite throwing arm right there from the catcher spot. Pretty daring for him to try to steal third right there, but he gets the bag. Maybe the element of surprise was what came in because he's not used to guys running on him, and right there, stealing third base, probably caught him off guard a little bit. Story, the lone runner, stands at third with nobody out. Two and now two balls and a strike. Action in the pen down there. Taylor Saucedo, the left-hander, up and throwing. Right-hander kicks deals. Ball. Wouldn't chase that time. Don't be surprised to ball on the ground to the corners that they come home with the baseball instead of going to first base. Left hand batter waits. And it's winning the miss. The healthy cut. Tough pitch at 98, but a really good pass at the ball. That one is hammered. Right field. Hanniger going back. Just missed it. Runner tacks from third. Throw is high and over his head. Tyler O'Neill up next for the Red Sox. Up and in, and that's ball one. And there's a strike. Good heater at 98. Two runs across in the inning. Here are the top half of inning number seven. The one, two. And that skips in the dirt. Still just the second batter of the inning, and on the mound, he's already thrown 13 pitches. They got him working hard out there. 